Flare Shot Everybody! And so today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about flares and sticky flares in a neat individual custom video. So yeah, obviously scouts will get distracted. If I get a bit old, ahead or behind of the video, then you will see it obviously scouts. Obviously they do. Now we go to seekers. Seekers obviously they do. They also get uh, distracted. Leopards. You, here's the thing, with a leper, you have to get it close to him, because if not, he will run away from it, so he will get distracted by it, you have to get it close to him. Scorpion, obviously yes, he will, because he's a weaker one. Hunter, yes, he'll get, uh, he'll get distracted by it. Uh, the Phantom, the Phantom is, destroying a flare for the Phantom is the best way to hypno him, because he's moving all over the place, and that is probably your best bet to do, to throw a flare. And then you can't know him, so that would probably be your best bet. Now, a cedar is only on May Day. Even in the new one, he is not. When they say in the new one, they say, oh, all the crit did is in there, except for cedar. I don't know if cedar was like an experimental one or something that they crossed breeded the scorpion and the uh, cedar seeker, and they made that. All right, so cedar, yep. The bomber will not, he will just fly by the flare, and Gargo will just walk by it. The Rhino, obviously, will just run by that. Uh, the Mammoth, no. Well, ooh, here's how to kill the Mammoth, though. Throw a flare, and his hunters will get distracted by it. And then you can shoot, uh, keep shooting the Mammoth, and you can kill him easier. That is another good way. Now, the Ancestor on Awakening, obviously, I just put this to show every type of cryptid. He cannot. So, yeah. Now, the normal Ancestor from uh, Exodius or something, and I call it that, he cannot get distracted by the flare. So, if I went too fast for you, that's okay, then I'll just wait a few seconds to get it, uh, to get it going. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a rough, uh, rough estimate of all of them, and, uh... It, it, it would be a good idea to throw a flare when there's a phantom because that'd be a good idea hunters too probably not though but the only the only time you want to throw a flare is probably when you absolutely need it when there's a lot of them in front of you that would probably be your best bet to do and uh yep yep some good good methods to take out a mammoth on awakening uh ele activate the electric trap and I think I think you actually see me kill him with the electric trap in one of these clips. So yeah, you can uh, and go do but that. But note this: the electric trap will get disabled very quickly. I think that's because of. Uh, I did notice that. I think that is actually because of uh, the more damage it does, the less it'll last. The long, the least amount of time it'll last. It'll last not as long as expected. All right, okay. So now I think we're ca we're almost all caught up here. I talk for a little bit more. So then, uh, so yeah, ancestor. No, the breeder. The breeder. I almost thought he could get distracted by a flare. Hey, Darren. He cannot. So yeah, and then obviously the kraken or or the kraken arm. None of the things can get distracted at all. So I'm going to talk for a little bit and wait because I know I can see how much time I've been recording. So yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everything you need to know about flare and stick a flare. Now, the good thing, the normal flare will only distract the certain ones like I just discussed. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. If you see a flare icon next to the name of a cryptid that you see in the video, that means you can fl distract them with a flare. If you do not see a flare next to their name, that means you can't. Same goes with the sticky flare. If you see, say, the ancestor with the sticky flare icon next to it, that means he can get distracted by a sticky flare, but it has to be stuck to him. So, you know, I'll discuss that a little bit later in the video, because you're probably thinking, wait a second, Josh, how can you distract an ancestor with a stick flare? Well, I'll discuss that in a second. We just need to get all caught up here, because I need to talk for a little bit longer, because about five minutes is coming up pretty soon, and that is about this uh, time where we will be almost all caught up. Yep, it's like, yep, the last map pack came out, I did, I got all the clips I needed, uh, I think there's gonna be, at the end of this video, there's gonna be a few funny ones, so, after I'm done discussing, after I'm done discussing all of the 
the good things to do and stuff, and yeah. There you go, there you go. There's not much to explain about flares because you can't really get anything with the flare. Only, uh, alright, alright, so now we're getting into the, the thing. So obviously, uh, same, same things will be distracted from the flare as in with the sticky flare, but there are going to be different things like Scout, yes, Seeker, yes, Leper, yes, Scorpion, Hunter, Phantom, Cedar, and we, I'm trying to, so yeah, and then, and then, I'm trying to, I'm, <laughs> so yeah, all right, yeah, people, obviously the Gargoyle will, because, uh, you, here's the thing though, you have to distract, you have to stick the stick flare to the gargoyle, he will not attack you anymore because he'll kind of be, he'll kind of be twitching a bit because he has the sticky flare on him and he's, he'll be wanting to move, so he'll be twitching a bit there, that's normal, I think you can get near him a bit and he won't really do anything, the rhino you can stick a sticky flare to, and I think you can get very close to the rhino and he'll just be sitting there, but on you will notice on the new map, Exodius, when you sticky flare a rhino, he will still walk around, which is really funny. You just see him slowly walking around everywhere, but he won't attack you as long as you don't get near him. So that's the key there. Stick flares will work on a rhino. Okay, so mammoth, same as a mammoth. You sticky flare him, he'll slowly just walk around. Slowly just be walking around the map. It's really funny to watch, actually. Uh, the gargoyle on Exodius will, I think, the same effects may happen. I'm not, uh, not 100% sure, but all the things you see in this video, Stick Flare will work on all the, the both mammoths on both maps, so you're pretty much good to go there. Now, last thing I'm talk about, because we're at seven minute mark, we're pretty close to near, wait, what's the end here? Ooh, damn. So we get to about uh, nine minutes of talking. We're gonna do all right. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the ancestor. Anc stick flare and the ancestor is the best thing you want to do because if you do it, you you have to you have to stick flare the ancestor. The only ancestor that'll work is the one where the gas station. Because if you sticky flare the one that's behind the wall, he will still attack you. And I think that's because he is pre programmed to attack so he nothing will stop him from attacking so only the ancestor at the gas station will actually get distracted by the sticky flare you have to get it on him and he'll just be sitting there kind of all distracted and then that's when you go in for the kill you shoot him up and stuff so that is about the top portion of the video so if you uh there it is ladies and gentlemen the next video that will be posted is everything you need to know about uh, hypno knife and hypno trap now that is a very interesting video because i have like a clip of everything now the secret thing the funny things you're gonna see at the end of this map are like sticky flare and a like a, a a hive or something so that that's kind of that's kind of funny all right I think uh, I think we're about up to the rhino right now, or maybe even past it, because uh, uh huh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, uh, uh. I kind of, if you people are wondering, I kind of do this like off of nothing. I just start the video, not knowing what I'm gonna say, and just looking at all the things that I put here. So sorry about saying so. ADD, I got to so cool, quiet kids. All right, all right. A lot of this took a lot of work, so don't be like disregarded or something. Me, like, this sucks. It, it took me a while to get all this footage here. Like, there's a lot of different clips here. There's a lot. I think we're, uh, I think we're about almost done to uh, all of the little clips here. So, I think I think I'm gonna end it very soon, any second right now. Uh, at the end of the hypno knife hypno trap video, I'm gonna show all of the. All of the types of prestige levels and stuff. Oh, oh! Another thing I want to talk about, guys. Do you think? Do you think it's BS that uh, that a thousand teeth for the double class? Uh huh. Ooh, one other thing I want to think of. One other thing. Okay, so guys, 
These, there's no teeth upgrades for any of these items here, like sticky flaring, any, uh, like the rhino and uh, mammoth, there's no teeth costing that, but the one tooth upgrade that I'm looking at for 200 teeth is the advanced scavenger or something, where you get a better flare and better hypno knife, I'm really curious to see what that does, I don't think I'll add it in the video, cause, uh, well, I don't think much would really change, I think the only thing that would change is thing, uh, Mammoth or maybe Gargoyle or uh, uh, Bomber getting shot by Flare, so I don't think much would change there. If it does, then I'll repost this video with that footage. So, the heck yeah! Sticky flare is live. 